Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Words of Worship. You know, as a Christian, I believe the story of creation as revealed in the Bible. I'm in awe of our God who created everything with his intricate design and plan. And I marvel at how our own bodies are created and the way our bodies function and heal. God's creation is overwhelming in function and in beauty. Now, in the creation story, in the book of Genesis, on the sixth day, God created man. The Bible says this, The Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. Now, I want us to think about that brief moment in time, right between where God finished forming the man out of the dust and right before God breathes into the man his spirit of life or his breath. Before God breathes into man, the dust-formed man is nothing more than dust with a purpose, something that had great potential, but was really nothing until God breathed into him the breath of life. The man couldn't walk, couldn't talk, couldn't touch anything. He couldn't feel anything. He couldn't hear or see or smell because God's breath of life was not yet in him. It was just a body with potential. Now we should make that comparison to today's church. A.W. Tozer says that there are many churches that have great potential, but the Holy Spirit is not in the church. Unless the Holy Spirit is in the church, it is just a church with potential. It's not functioning in the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not functioning under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And it's not effective in its ministries because it's functioning only in human effort. When God's Holy Spirit is present in a church, we will no longer be dead churches striving just to look alive or pretending to function as though we're alive. Our churches will be alive with life through the power of the Holy Spirit. And then in His power, we will be able to shine the light of Christ into this lost, dark, and dying world. Let's not settle for being churches with potential. Let's make our churches a place of life by petitioning God and functioning in the power of His Holy Spirit. And let's not turn our back on God or depart from His word or His will that would cause Him to remove His Holy Spirit from our church. God is the creator and the giver of life. Let's make sure we are worshiping and praising him in spirit and in truth in our churches. Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Kevin, and I hope to see you again next week.